in a world where a turtle is a gun. This is that world uh, thanks to neural networks. So I know I'm smiling, but it's actually a little bit terrifying. We use AI and neural networks and machine learning more and more, and especially in things like um, so, uh, self-driving cars. I know there's a different word for it, but cars that are able to drive without human intervention. We are dependent on our surroundings to relay information uh, back to the cameras and feed it to the neural network. And most of the time, it works great. But a few researchers from MIT were able to devise of a system that was able to uh, trick neural networks into thinking that this turtle, it's a 3D printed turtle at many different angles. And it didn't matter what angle it was at, with just shifting a few pixels, they were able to confuse the network into thinking it was a gun. So this is a concept that has existed or been known about for years, but hasn't really been taken as super seriously. It's called an adversarial example. So the concept is changing just a few pixels in an image in order to confuse the neural network into thinking it's something else. So with that 3D printed turtle, they just changed a few pixels in uh, its, its shell design, I believe. And they were able to make the network think it was a rifle, or they could make it into any object they wanted. But the problem here is that this hasn't really been studied that much. So these kinds of attacks are possible. It's possible to a different set of researchers were able to change a stop sign to read something else and trick a self-driving car's system into thinking it wasn't a stop sign, which would cause potentially a huge accident. And there's a lot of research that still needs to be done in this field, and this is just one example. In this particular one, it took over a thousand hours of work, so it's not incredibly easy, and you do need to know exactly how to fool the network, but it is definitely possible. Uh, the group Lab6 from MIT developed an algorithm that was able to trick the AI, and it unperturbed the AI, recognized it as a turtle, and that it didn't really look discernibly different from a turtle. You saw the picture, so it, it's on a very micro level. So the good news is it's hard to do. The bad news is it's doable. Audience, are you ready for uh, self-driving cars and a system in which we are using a lot of AI and uh, information being fed into a neural network? Or do you think maybe we're not quite there just yet? Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.